Hello, I hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to show you a new bullet journaling setup. Not a yearly bullet journaling setup, that is, just a setup for a new journal since the old yearly journal was running out of space. And this is actually one of two such videos that I'm going to do because I decided to split my bullet journal into two separate journals. And this is the self-care version, which will have self-care spreads that I find really helps me to, I don't know, focus on the more positive things in life rather than the negative, because I do tend to spiral into negative thinking. And this journal helps me with that, and it also helps me to prevent burnout. So I'm actually using this very pretty dog turtle, and I really love the cover, I love the gold elements, I love that it's, I don't know, unique. And the inside, though, is just a plain dot journal with no special features other than the two ribbon bookmarks, which I find very useful. For this setup, I'm going to be using some washi tapes, some pens, a few stamps, and a few papers. And we're starting off with the papers. And I'm using this pearl paper that is actually origami paper, not scrapbooking paper. I usually use scrapbooking paper. But this time I actually bought a whole set of origami paper based off pearls and other crystals, just because I really like those. Um, yeah, so we're starting off with the pearl paper and some craft paper. And this is my This Journal Belongs to spread, and I'm not really being very careful as to how I write it. I sort of let it go off the craft paper a little bit, but I really think that that kind of gives it a more scrapbooky feel, which I really enjoy. And I'm using gold marker to write that in. And my final touch for the spread was to decorate it with just a few strips of washi tape. One gold one to match the gold and tan colors, and this sort of slightly golden tree washi tape, just to make things a little bit more interesting. My next spread, I'm starting off with the heading. And this is my looking forward to spread for the rest of the year. Or, well, I think this is probably going to last them for the rest of the year, so this is my looking forward to spread. And here I'm also adding some more of that golden tree washi tape to the bottom, but on top of that I'm adding a really skinny sort of peachy tan washi tape just to make things a little bit more interesting. And I'm also adding that same peachy washi tape under the heading just to underline it. And that was it for the spread so far. By the way, I will be adding stamps to these spreads later, so they're not done. This is just how they look like at the moment. I just kind of like to add stamps all at the same time because, I don't know, that's just what I like to do. So anyways, there will be stamps. The next spread I'm starting off with some more of that pearl paper and some more craft paper for the headings. And this spread is my goals and dreams spread. So this is the spread where I'm going to be writing down some of my goals and my dreams for the rest of the year. And again, I'm decorating it with some more gold washi tape. And now it's time for the stamps, just like I promised. And I'm going to be using a whole bunch of botanical stamps, and I'm going to be using brown ink, just because I think that brown ink really goes well with the uh, sort of brown, tannish, peachy theme that I have going on. So the first stamp I'm adding is this sort of floral stamp on the left-hand side of my first spread, and I'm actually going to be using the same stamp on the second spread as well, at the top right corner, because there was definitely some empty space there that could use a stamp. Thank you. 
The next stamp I'm going to be using is this much smaller leafy stamp, and I'm adding that to the second spread right next to the floral stamp, and I wanted to add quite a few stamps to that area, so you'll see me adding more there, and I also wanted to add that to the first spread as well, at the bottom because there was a little bit of empty space, and at the top just to make that corner a little bit more interesting, and again, because there was empty space there. So, the final place where I'm going to be adding that same leafy stamp is for my last spread. And again, I'm filling some of the empty spaces in the middle of the spread and in the corners. Next up, we have an even smaller leafy stamp, and I'm starting off with the last spread where I'm filling some of the empty spaces that I haven't filled in yet with the other stamp, and I'm just adding those. Because that stamp is so small, it kind of goes in a lot more places, or rather, can fit in a lot more areas, and I'm also adding that at the bottom just to sort of make that area a little bit... I don't know, just to make it look like there's kind of a growing pattern of botanical stamps. <laughs> I, okay, I know I'm not saying this very well. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it. You'll just have to see, I guess. I also added the same leafy stamp to the previous spread. And we're not done yet. We're adding yet more stamps, and this is the smallest stamp so far, and this is the final stamp that I will be using. And it's also the last thing that I'm adding to my second spread. So moving on to my third spread, you'll see what I was trying to explain earlier when I add the stamp to the bottom of the spread. So this is the result. And we're not done yet, I'm actually going to show you more spreads, but let me just show you a flip through of the spreads that we've set up so far first. And here they are! I'm actually really happy with how they came out. They feel a little, I don't know, simple... okay, not simple, but I really like their scrapbook feel, and I really like the light color scheme that I went for for these spreads. Again, let me know what you think, and let's move on to the next part of this video, which is the spreads that I'm going to be adding to my previous journal. So I did mention that I ran out of space, but that's not fully true. I have just a few pages left in that journal, just enough to add the few final spreads that you're about to see me set up. And I'm starting off with the same pearl scrapbooking or origami paper that you've seen me use before, and I'm layering that with some craft paper for the title. And to decorate the spread a little bit more before we get to the stamps, yes, there will be stamps again, I'm adding some bird and floral washi tape to the bottom right corner, because the title is in the top left corner, so I wanted to balance things out. And I'm also adding a little bit of gold washi tape there to add a little bit more sparkle. The next spread, I'm starting off with the same pearl paper and craft paper combination for the title. And the title of this spread is actually Highlights, so here I'm going to be writing down some of the highlights for the rest of the year. And here again, I'm decorating the spread with the same bird and floral washi tape, and adding some more gold washi tape to add that extra bit of sparkle that I really enjoy. And of course, it also matches the gold elements in my title that, well, it matches the gold in my title, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And the last spread I'm going to show you for this particular setup is the What I Learned spread. And here I'm just going to write down some of the lessons I've learned over the few months that I've had this first journal. And I'm decorating the spread with some more of that same bird and floral washi tape and 
some more gold washi tape, but I'm also actually underlining the heading with some more of that peachy washi tape that you've seen me use a little bit earlier for my previous journal. Now let's move on to the stamps portion. And again, I'll be using a bunch of the same botanical stamps, or the same set of botanical stamps rather, and I'm starting off with this sort of feathery, leafy stamp. I'm pretty sure it's a feather, but I'm still gonna call it botanical. <laughs> and I'm putting that around the heading and a little bit at the bottom next to the washi tape. And I think it was kind of cool, and I actually like that it kind of matches the uh, bird washi tape that I was using, because, you know, birds' feathers. For the next spread, I'm using that same feather stamp, and I'm adding that again in some of the empty spaces around the heading. And in my final spread, I also am adding that in the empty space around the heading to the right. So now let me just show you the final flip through of these last spreads that I set up. And here they are. I really hope that you liked this video. I definitely enjoyed setting up these spreads and I really like how they came out. But please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!